morning, guys. I've got to get my tendon put back on my shoulder. I have to go. I gotta go to surgery. I know it's freaking bright today. Ridiculous again. The sky is almost white. But anyways, um, it infuriates me that I have to go. I have to go get a COVID test. I know we all know that this is bullshit. I have to get my surgery. It's infuriating. Once again, the word for 2021. I did all those all those appointments yesterday, so I didn't have to do any today, and they freaking booked me two more. Just good. Keeps us keeps us in a paycheck. But it does screw my day up. Oh, I got my mail yesterday, okay? They were supposed to send me a packet with all my surgery information, my COVID, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> my mail runs at about 3.30. I got my packet in the mail yesterday, about 5 o'clock when I finally made it back to my second address. So I open it up and it says your appointment is for the 18th yesterday. Mind you, it's 5 o'clock. But even if I was home waiting for the mailman about 3.30, they only test from 9 to 3. So because of their inc incompetence, I missed my freaking, I missed my COVID date. Apparently, it takes 72 hours to get the results back. And uh, yesterday was the deadline for that date, for that time, for that 72 hours. That was close. Good job, girl. Almost seen a wreck. So, anyways, I hope y'all have a way better day than I'm having. I didn't get hardly any sleep last night. Toss it and turn it. Mine wouldn't shut off. Two o'clock in the morning. Oh, Tim was up at two o'clock this morning too. I did finally get back to bed. Then I missed my alarm. Woke up late. <laughs> it's just been one heck of a fifth Monday of the week. <sighs> Tim talked this morning, body shop chat about. The, the blocking of the sunshine and why they're doing it. And then he got into a little bit about how the earth flash froze. I put a link on Restore the Republic 76. It's a three-part series. It's about, each part is about an hour. It is so worth the watch. If you want to know about Earth's history and magnetic reversals and solar flares and crustal place displacement, it's mind blowing. It's mind blowing. It when you after you watch that, you really don't give a f, f about what the politicians do. Knowing Earth's catastrophe cycles. It's good shit. Oppenheimer Ranch Project did a piece on the Adam and Eve story with Chan Thomas. Now, so did Suspicious Observers. He did a whole piece on it, too. The thing about science, you have to remember, is science is questioning everything. If somebody tells you something, question it. Well, these are the global warming facts. Question it. Anyways, I'm a couple minutes from my COVID test. 
again, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna wear my panty mask. And I'm gonna ask for the anal swab. Because I don't want that frickin' stick up my brain. I guess they can do just a small nasal swab. I don't know. But I'm not getting that stick in the back of my nose. I'll tell you that. We'll see if I... We'll see if I survive. I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. And I am gonna make another video with the link to the Oppenheimer Ranch version. I think it's called The Prelude to the Adam and Eve Story. That's like part one. And like I said, it's an hour. But the dude is smart. He's very intelligent. It's, it's mind-blowing. Anyways. Alright, guys. Peace out. We'll, uh, We'll talk to you. I got an appointment after the, I don't know. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.